Hello there. You called for an exorcist? Yes, ma'am, that's me. Maxine Prince, at your service. May I come in? Now, what seems to be the issue? I was told you're dealing with a possessed object? Oh my, your child's favorite teddy bear. That's awful. Now, how did all this start? What happened to make you first think it was possessed? Appearing randomly throughout the house. I see. And that wasn't just your child being careless. I know, I know. But I have to ask these questions to rule out any non-demonic possibilities. An unnecessary exorcism can invite demons in sometimes. You understand, yes? Oh dear. Yes, the bear levitating and leaking blood would likely be demonic influence. I'm guessing you've already tried to get rid of it. You burned it and it reappeared in your child's bedroom the next day? Oh, that must have been terrifying. Yes, I can certainly see why you called us. Where is the bear now? You locked it in the basement. Good thinking, but I doubt that'll hold it forever. I'll see what I can do. What's that? Uh, I assure you, I'm not too young to be an exorcist. I know the stereotype is that all exorcists are old men, but adults of any age can be one. Well, I am a junior exorcist, but still. Uh, ma'am, this is what you paid for, yes? You asked for the cheapest cleansing available. Exorcists with decades of experience are much more expensive. Well, you know how you can go to a beauty school for a cheap haircut so the students can practice on a real person? It's kind of like that. I'm not a trainee. I'm a junior exorcist. I assure you, I have years of training, and I've studied and been witness to several high-level exorcisms. I will certainly be able to handle whatever being is possessing your child's teddy bear. Demons that possess items like toys are often weak. That's why they can't possess humans. Even a beginner exorcist could handle something like this. There's nothing to worry about. All right, then. Take me to this bear. Is that it in the corner? Okay. You can head back upstairs, miss. I'll take it from here. <sighs> Approach with confidence. Demon, I've come to remove you from your vessel and this household. Whoa, it turned around on its own. That's some serious possession, all right. Uh... <clears throat> Be gone, demon. Yeah, should've known it wouldn't be that easy. But you don't scare me. Okay, the levitating is a little freaky, but even if you levitate, you're... you're still a teddy bear. Ah! <sighs> that... didn't hurt. Even if you throw yourself at me, you're... A very small plushie. I almost feel bad for you. Uh, oh my god, it really does leak blood. What? Are you writing something? Uh, okay, maybe I don't feel that bad if you're gonna write stuff like that. My mother isn't even dead. How would she be in hell? Alright, enough of this. Crap, what do I do? Oh, come on, I should know this. I've seen it before. First step is burning... 
Incense, right. That'll cleanse the area of demonic presence. Be gone, foul demon. Return from whence you came. Be gone. Hey, it stopped moving. Did it work? Is there still a demon in you, little guy? Whoa, what was that? I definitely felt something. Was that the demon leaving? Guess the incense did its job. Uh, wait. Was I supposed to burn incense for a demon? Oh, crap, that's right. Incense is for poltergeist. For a demon, it's... sage. Oh, how'd I get that mixed up? So, what happens if you burn incense for a demon? It gets more powerful. Oh, shit. Wait, who said that? Is that you, demon? Where are you? Show yourself. Look in a mirror. Oh, no. You're not saying... Shit, I'm possessed? Oh god, what do I do? This never happened in any of the case studies. Should I, like, call someone? Would burning sage help? Uh... Wait. I don't feel possessed. Not that I'd really know what that feels like. But it seems like I'm still in control of my body. Is this a trick? Hallucinating. Okay, if I really was, I don't think you'd tell me. How much power did that incense really give you? Okay, so the incense let you possess me, but not control me, obviously. You talking to me in my mind and trying to convince me to do evil things doesn't really count as controlling. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, wait, shit, that's right. Oh, what is my teacher gonna say when she finds out? I'm gonna look so irresponsible. And I was hoping to move up a level this year. Hmm. Well, maybe she doesn't have to know. Hey, the teddy bear clearly isn't possessed anymore, and I'm in full control of my body. So as far as anyone else is concerned, I performed a successful exorcism. I just have a slight demon problem to deal with later. Uh, just shut up. I'm gonna nail this. Ma'am? I'm happy to report that the exorcism was a success. Yes, the teddy bear is no longer possessed. If you'd like, you can get rid of it or return it to your child. No more demonic activity will come from it. The demon. Uh, it's gone. Banished. Yep, I'm sure. But... Do not be afraid to contact us if any other demonic activity occurs. Quiet, you. Huh? Oh, my eyes? Uh, they were always that color, I assure you. Genetic defect, you know. I'll be on my way now. Have a pleasant day, miss. Whew, that was close. Where do you get off changing my eye color? Whatever, it's easy enough to hide or explain. Listen, pal, you just got lucky. As soon as I figure out how to self-exercise, your history. Nuh-uh. If you think you can sway me by offering some kind of deal, think again. You could barely possess a teddy bear. There's no way you could offer me anything of value. What? How could a demon help me become a better exorcist? 
true. I guess you would know what hurts a demon. But how do I know you won't just give me bad advice? Right. I doubt that. Ugh, damn it. I have another job to get to. For now, just shut up and I'll deal with you later. I said shut up. Damn demon. What have I gotten myself into? Yeah, I could have looked up, like, actual exorcism techniques, but all that shit is made up, too.